but we're in maths You have to find the part To overcome fear in maths You will get success in that To overcome fear in maths You will get success in that Welcome to our channel Fearless Maths Class. Today's topic is fraction which is in standard class 4 or 5 like this. Today I discuss about the fraction. First I discuss what is fraction. The fraction is what? Fraction is the part of a whole. Then I just take a whole, a circle I take here. This is the whole. Means this is one circle. Here is one circle. Then the fraction is a part of a whole. Uh, if I draw a part, yes, I can draw like this. This is a part of a whole. Yes, which, how many parts here? Here is four parts. Here is four parts. The second part is, is one foot. Here is fourth part and the second part is then this part is called the one fourth. The part of a whole is called the fraction. Okay. Now I just color it. This is the one fourth part of a whole. One fourth part of the whole circle. And if I color like this one, this together, this together part is called two fourth part of a, of a whole. I can write Two fourth part just to cancel this one divided by two just to divide the number by two this is I already said this is the half also half also now the fraction is the part of a whole is called the fraction I first I said it one part then one fourth how many part I divide the whole here uh, fourth part then uh, one part is one fourth part and two part is two fourth part. Two fourth part if you cancel this one then it will become half part. If I draw the another example, if I give an another example, just I divide this one how many parts? A whole rectangle I can divide in how many parts? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six parts I divide the rectangle. Then if I say these three parts, these three parts, okay, or four parts, then I say the second part is one, two, three, four out of six part. The rectangle I divide in six parts. I say how many parts? Four part I say, this is called four by six part. If you cancel this one, to the a 4, you can write like this also. Then this is called the other name is the equivalent fraction. What is the equivalent fraction? The, the fraction having the same value. Or the fraction you can write and the another form also where the value is same is called the equivalent fraction. Just like this. 2 by 4. You can write also, half also you can write 2 by 4. Half also you can write 4 by 8. Half also you can write 5 by 10. This type of fraction is called equivalent fraction. Equivalent fractions. Okay. This is called the equivalent fraction. The equivalent fraction is what? Equivalent fraction is the Value of the fraction is same. It can represent the another, another, uh, another types of fraction. This is called where the value is same. Is called the equivalent fractions. Like this. This is the uh, two by three. Two by three you can write four by six. Two by three you can write like this also. Two by six. You can write like this also. If you cancel this one, just the value is come back. Okay? Okay? These fractions, these are called, 
These fractions are called equivalent fraction. Equivalent fractions. Equivalent fraction is what? I repeat again. Equivalent fraction is when the value is same and fraction can be represented as the another form. This is called the equivalent fraction. Then what is fraction? Fraction is the part of a whole is called the fractions. Just I discuss this one. Now I discuss types of fractions. Then I discuss the another topic is types of fractions. What is types of fractions? The types of fraction is this is first one is like fractions and second one is unlike fractions. Then what is like fraction? The what is like fraction? The fraction having the same denominator is called the like fraction. The example of the like fraction just you look. This is 2 by 3, 4 by 3, 5 by 3, 8 by 3. This fraction is called the like fraction. What is like fraction? The like fraction Having the same denominator is called like fraction. Then what is unlike fractions? Unlike fractions having the different denominator. You can write any number also. But it has different denominator. Different denominator is called unlike fractions. Having the different denominator is called the unlike fractions. Like fractions having the same denominator. First I discuss what is fraction. Second I discuss equivalent fractions. Third I discuss types of fractions. Then just I discuss few sums under these three fractions. Okay, now I take some example under this explanation. Uh, then first you find the half of 16. I already said the fraction is part of a whole. The half of 16 means, of means here you just write multiplication sign. Then you just cancel it. Then half of 16 is become 8 to the 16, 8. Then the another thing is, 1 by 3 into 51. Then you just cancel this one. 51 divided by 3. Then it become 3, 1's are and then uh, then 1 and 7. Then this is 7. 17, 73 is 51. Now you just cancel here and then 17. And then again 1 by 4 of 48. This is become 1 and 12. 12 4s 48. 17 3s 51 and 8 to the 16. This is the part of a whole. Half part of 16. The 15 part, one third part of 51, one fourth part of the 48. This is the fractional value of this one. Okay. Now you just write the fraction. How many fra fractions are there in the shaded portion? Write the fraction under the shaded portion. Now how many shaded portion here? One, two, three shaded portion. How many shaded portion? Listen carefully. How many shaded portions you just write upper? And how many portions are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 3 by 8. Out of 8, the 3 portions are color. This is 3 by 8 fractions. Okay. Now, here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many portions here? Here is 9 portions and how many portions are colored? 4 part is colored. This is the 4 by 9. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 by 9. This is 4 by 9. And now just I uh, discuss this one. Write the equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions is what? The fraction which is having the same value you can write in the Different form also. Now, equivalent fraction is just like table. You just multiply it by 2 upper and numerator and denominator. The uh, fraction, the upper part of is called the numerator and the lower part is called the denominator. The fraction, the upper part is called the numerator 
and the lower part is called the denominator. Now we just multiply 3 to the 6 and 4 to the 8. And I just did 3. 3 equivalent fraction you can write. Then you just multiply this one. 3 by 4 you can multiply it by 3 also. You can multiply it by 3 also. Then it is become 9 by 12. Then again you can multiply it by. You can multiply it by 3 by 4 into 4 also. Upper and lower. This is 12 by 16. Then the equivalent fraction is uh, how many to 3 equivalent fractions are? 6 by 8, 9 by 12 and 12 by 16. This is the 3 equivalent fractions of 3 by 4. Now 2 by 5. You just multiply it by 2 here. Then 4 by 10. Then again you just multiply it by 3 here. Just you do like table. This is here. And then again you just multiply it by 4. 8. This is. These 3 are the equivalent fraction of 2 by 5. Equivalent fraction is class, just like table. Okay. Now to fill in the blanks. I am just you put the values. Here I multiply 9 5 sa 45. Then you have to multiply 7 by 5. Then 7 5 sa 7 5 sa 35. Here you put 35. This is also with the equivalent fraction. Equivalent fractions like table. Here is also 56 by 64. 7 is how many numbers we just multiply to 56 become 7. How many is a 7 8 sa. 7 8 sa 56. Then you just divided this one by 8. This is 8 8 sa 64. Then 7 8 sa 56 and 8 8 sa 64. You listen carefully. You add the same number you can divide or multiply by the numerator and the denominator also. The numerator is what? The upper portion of the fraction is called numerator and the denominator is this is the numerator. And the lower portion of the fraction is called the denominator. Now I discuss the another uh, topic on this under these fractions. Okay, now I discuss about the arrange in ascending and descending order by like and unlike fractions. Okay, here the like fraction is the denominator is same. Denominator means lower part of the fraction. When the denominator is same, this is like fraction. When, listen carefully, when the like fraction are there, then you just, when you use the ascending and descending order, ascending order, the numerator is least. This is the lowest number. This is the lowest number. Just you like uh, this. The new, when the denominator is same, numerator is least, this is the lowest number. Just to arrange you like this. Then ascending is when the new denominator is same, the lowest number, numerator is lowest, this is the lowest number. Then is 2. Then 2, 2 by 11, then 3 by 11, then 4 by 11. This is the ascending order. When the denominator is same, that, that because like fraction, that, uh, that is like fraction, then the numerator is lowest, the fraction is lowest. The numerator is greater, the fraction is greater. Then the descending order just you write reverse. When the denominator is same, the, when the denominator is same, the numerator is lowest, the fraction is lowest. Numerator is greatest, the fraction is greatest. Understood? When the denominator is same. Now the question is, when the numerator, this is the unlike fraction. Unlike fraction means the denominator is different. When the numerator is same, here the numerator is 8. All are 8. When the, listen carefully, when the numerator is same, the denominator is least. This is the greatest fraction. Just reverse of this. When the numerator is same, the denominator is least. The fraction is greatest. Then, just to write the ascending order, then the highest, this is the least. 
8 by 13. Then this one, 8 by 9. Then 8 by 7. Then 8 by 5. Then 8 by 3 also. And the descending order, the greatest number is, when the numerator is same, the denominator is least, this is greatest. The denominator is least, this is greatest. Just like this. You can write like this. This is, I think so understood, I repeat again, when the like fraction arises, just you observe the numerator. Numerator is least, the fraction least. Numerator is greatest, the fraction greatest. Understood? And when the question is unlike fraction, unlike fraction when the numerator is same, then denominator is least, the fraction is greatest. The denominator is highest, the fraction is smallest. Just like this. I think so you can understand. Now the next one is, write two fra like fractions of these two. Like fractions means the denominator is same. You can write anything. 8 by 12. 9 by 12, anything also. 5 by 12 also you can write. And this one, you can write 7 by 15, 9 by 15, 8 by 15, anything you can write. The denominator is same, it's called the like fractions. Now I discuss the another types of fraction. In, uh, previously I discussed the types of fraction, like fraction and a like fraction just depends on the denominator. Now I discuss the another types of fraction which is the first one is proper fraction then improper fraction then mixed fraction. Okay. Then first I discuss about the proper fraction. When the numerator is Less than the denominator is called proper fraction. I give an example. Here 2 is less than 3. 4 is less than 7. This is proper fraction. When the numerator is less than the denominator is called proper fraction. And the improper. When the numerator is greater than the denominator is called improper fraction. Then 13 by 7. 19 by 8, numerator is greater than the denominator, is called improper fraction. Then the mixed fraction, the whole number and proper fraction together are mixed fraction. Whole number and proper fraction together is mixed fraction. Whole number and proper fraction. Here 1 is whole. 2 by 3 is proper fraction. Here 2 is whole. 5 by 7 is proper fraction. Proper fraction means numerator less than the denominator. Here 2 is less than 3. 5 is less than 7. This is the mixed fraction. Now I just convert. Convert. I just discuss here. Convert mixed to improper fraction. Improper fraction. Okay. Just I discuss here mixed to improper. Here I take mixed fraction. I give an example here. You just convert to the improper fraction. First you do the multiplication of the whole number to the denominator plus numerator and the denominator is same. Whole number multiplication by the denominator plus numerator. Then the denominator is same you write in the denominator place. Then 3 was a 3 plus 2, 5 by 3. And the second one, here also I just discussed. Then 2 into 7 plus 5 by 7. Then 7 to the 14 plus 5 by 7. Just you multiply whole to the denominator plus numerator. Then this is 19 by 7. This is convert mixed to improper. Now I discuss convert improper to improper to mixed improper to mixed fraction. Okay, convert. So I just take this one 
13 by 7. This is improper because 13 is greater than 7. Just to divide it, this one. This is 7 ones are 7. Just to divide. Then just do the subtraction. 6. Then remainder is going to numerator and the denominator is 7. Remainder is going to the numerator and denominator is 7. Okay. This is the mixed fraction. One is the whole and this is proper fraction. And I just take another example here. I write here also. 19 by 8. You just do the division. 8 to the 16. And just subtract here 3 by 8. Yes. Now 19 by 2 8 is become a mixed fraction. This is 2 3 by 8. Okay. Now I discuss the addition. Addition of and subtraction and the lowest term. Now lowest term of the fraction, addition, subtraction and multiplication of the fraction. Now here I discuss about the lowest term. Lowest term of the fraction. Of fraction. What is this? The lowest term of the fraction is what? I just write like this also. I uh, just write like this. You can convert to the lowest term. Fraction always in lowest term. Okay. Lowest term means you just divide these two numbers. Remarter and denominator by the same number. Which table belong. Then 3 3 are and 3 4 are. It can be 4 by 3. If I take the. Uh, here I just take here. It become a lowest term. Just to divide it by 8 also and 8 also. Then it is become half. If I take uh, 12 by uh, 12 by 27, then you just divide it by the same number with the numerator and denominator. Then it is become then it is become the lowest term. Fraction always in lowest term. You just it become lowest term. That means you just divide numerator and denominator with the same numbers. Which table these two numerator and denominator belongs? You just divide it by this one. Okay, this is the lowest term of the fraction. Now I discuss the last topic. This is the very important thing is when the uh, this is the ascending and descending order, when the denominator is different and the fraction is like mixed fraction, then first you convert. You cannot do anything without a mixed fraction convert to the improper. Sorry. This is you just listen carefully. First you convert to the improper fraction. What is this? This is 4 7s are I just already told you. This is and 4 into 21 plus 8 by 21 and 4 into 14 plus 11 by 14. Then 4 into 7 plus 3 by 7 and 4 into 21 plus 13 by 21. And 4 into 14 plus 9 by 14. Here also, 4 7s are 28 plus 2, 30 by 7. Then this one is, this one is just in 4 and 4 to the 8 plus 8 and 21. Then 56 plus 11 by 14. Then 28 plus 3, uh, 28 plus 3, 31 by 7. And then 4 and 4 to the 8 plus 13 by 21. Then 56 plus 9 by 14 also. Okay. Then here is 30 by 7. And just you do the addition. And uh, 92, 21. And then this is like this. And 31 by 7. Then this one. And 5 by 6. This one also. Okay. Just now the thing is that the denominator is different. Just you do the LCM. Of when you do the ascending and descending order, just you do the LCM of 7, 14 and 21. 7, 14 and 21, the LCM is become what? Just you do. You have to do the LCM here. 7, 2 and 3. 14 into 3. 42. The LCM is 42. 
the LCM is what? The LCM is 42. Now, just look at the board. Just you uh, pass the, this fraction. This fraction is comes. Just you take the first uh, here, this one. And 42 divided by 7, this is comes 6. You just convert this one, multiply this one. 30 into 6 and 7 into 6. Then this is 42. Okay. Now, this fraction you take. 92 and 21, it is become, just you divide it by LCM, divided by 21, it is 2, and just you uh, multiply it, uh, this is, uh, my motto is, you have to send the denominator, denominator becomes same, then you just, that means, you just convert this fraction to the like fraction, when the denominator is same, then you decide, I already discussed in my previous, uh, previous, uh, sometimes ago, I just discussed when the denominator is same, the, then the numerator is least, the fraction is least. Just you convert to the change to um, like fraction. Now, yes, and then I take uh, this fraction, here 30 by 7 is become this, 92 by 21 is become this one and denominator is, uh, this is 42, the denominator is same, okay. Now I take uh, this fraction, 67 by 14, you have to divide it 42 by 14 is 3, then you multiply this one and then this is uh, 42 and 1, this one. So 67 by 14 is become like this and now I take this one 31 by 7 and you just uh, divide it by this one also 6 and then you multiply uh, 6 with numerator and denominator then this is like this and uh, this 31 become this one and now I just take uh, just take this one 97, 97 by 21 you just uh, find the division. This one is 2. And this one is become 97 by 97 into 2 and 21 into 2. And uh, this one. And now I just last take. Last I take this one. And you have to divide it by with the numerator. Uh, 65 into 3 and 14 into 3. Then 42 and 15 and this one. Now you observe the all fractions become the like fraction. Look at this is 180 by 42. This is 184 by 42. This is 90, uh, 191 by 42. 186 by 42. 194 by 42. 195 by 42. First I just arrange in ascending and descending order. I just write here also because there is no space. And just to observe when you uh, um, uh, when you arrange in ascending order, the numerator is least. And which is the numerator is least? Which number the numerator is least? I think so 180. 180 is comes from where? 30 by 7. And 30 by 7 is comes from where? This is 4, 2 by 7. Then first you write 4, 2 by 7. Look at the book. This is very important sum. That's why I discussed lastly. And then 180 is, uh, after that, uh, this is 184. 184 is comes from where? 92 by 21. 92 by 21 is comes from where? This is 4, 8 by 21. And then, then 1 up to uh, 184, uh, this is the next one. This is 31 by 7. 31 by 7 is coming from... Here also, 31st one is here, this is 2nd and the 3rd one is this one, this is 4, 3 by 7 and just is that, I think so this one, but uh, here is some mistake here, not this is 191, just this one, one and this is 201, okay, this is a mistake here, mistakenly I write here, now after that 186 is after that, after that is 194. 194 is coming from 
97 by 21. 97 by 21 is coming from where? Uh, this is. The 97 by 21 is coming from this one. Then you write 413 by 21. And then again, then here also this one. This is 65 by 14. 65 by 14 is, 65 by 14 is here. It is coming from last one, this one. This is, yes, this is the, uh, this one. And lastly, this number, 67 by 14. 67 by 14 is coming from here also, here also. This is the last number, 411 by 14. Then the ascending order is what? This is first, then second, then third, then uh, then this one is fourth, then the fifth one, this is fifth one, and lastly this is the sixth one also. This is the ascending order. If you write the descending order, just you do the reverse of this one, then 4, 11 by 14, then 4, 9 by 14, then 4, 13 by 21, then 4, 3 by 7, and then uh, 4, 8 by 21, and then 4, 2 by 7. This is very hard sum. That's, uh, that's why I discuss here also. You, uh, before going to the next part of the video, just pause it and write it down. This is the process where the denominator is uh, different. That means a light fraction and the fraction is become the improper fraction, the mixed fraction. Then you first convert to the improper fraction. Then you just do the LCM and you have to choose the denominator is same. A different denominator, unlike fraction, when you do the AOD or AO or DO, that means ascending and descending order, then you have to change the uh, unlike fraction to the like fraction. You have to change a different denominator to the same denominator. Then you just do the ascending, descending order. Otherwise, it cannot be possible. Okay, now that's all for today. This is the full fraction chapter in standard class 4 and 5. That's all for today. If you like my video, please press the like button and, and you please give the comments in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon to get the further notification. That's all. Thank you very much.